In this video, we're going to be using 345 Yacht Club and the Tatara Miramasa Adjustable Safety Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content today, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, let's get into it today. And we shall start with the soap, which is 345 Soap Company Yacht Club. And this was not part of the subscription offering. I wish it was because I much prefer the scent on this to uh, Estes, which was the actual subscription offering this month. This scent, and I'll put the notes for you on the screen right there. This is based on Paco Rabanne, One Million Lucky. And for me, has a beautiful uh, cologne type scent to it. Uh, again, the notes uh, on the screen there for you. Very, very nice scent. Scent strength, slightly below medium, I would say a little under medium. So it's not super stout to the nose, but what I do get is quite beautiful. This is a well-priced soap. It comes to you for $16.95 for 5.8 ounces. And on a cost chart there, that's $2.92 an ounce, which is exceptional. This is also a good quality tallow soap. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen uh, right there. It's not uh, finicky. Easy to lather, provides for a great lather. I really like 345 company soaps. Good quality, very good price, good sense generally. I think the only real big miss I've had is Estes. And this one, I'm glad is, is a win uh, for me. Yacht Club, and I'll show you a picture of the lather right there. Um, really, really nice quality lather, good hydration in it. So we look forward to using this today. The razor for today is the Tatara Miramasa Adjustable safety razor. Now this particular razor adjusts both the blade gap and exposure at the same time. We're going to start today on four. It's probably hard to see that number. I find that this razor on one and two, it's just not that enjoyable for me to use because I feel almost no blade. On settings three, four, and five, a little more enjoyable. Actually four and five are pretty good. I'm going to start on four today and then I'll use five for the second uh, pass. It is a well-built uh, razor all stainless steel. It is very expensive though. Now I traded for this razor so I didn't pay the, the retail for it. Uh, I traded Matt Lawrence because he just didn't care for this razor. Uh, on the lower settings he didn't get anything and then on the upper settings all he got was blades so he didn't like it. But I do like it. It's 380 American dollars though. Very very expensive and if you want to buy the stand it's even more expensive. Again Tatara. For 380, the stand should come with it. It's just it's so pricey that that stand should be in the 380. That's just my opinion. That said, it is an innovative razor. It is a well-built razor. It's really awesome, and I like shaving with it. So we look forward to using it today. So without further ado, let's get into it, and we shall start by misting the face. And I hope you're all doing well. This is shave more November. That's right, shave more November, not shave less or not no shave. But shave more November because. Sort of makes sense to shave more if we're trying to bring uh, awareness to like testicular cancer and prostate cancer and all that. Wouldn't it make sense to maybe shave some other things? Well, I don't know. Just putting it out there instead of looking raggedy. I don't know. Could be wrong on that. But whatever you choose to do, I hope you enjoy it. So if you're doing no shave uh, November, you know, blessings to you. I do shave more in November. So. I'll shave even more often, do more head shaves, you know, so on and so forth. I can't shave the bald kid here because I'll look like a thumb, you know, as I've said before. But um, whatever the case, I hope you will uh, enjoy your experience, even if you're doing the no shave and growing a beard and all that. That is perfectly okay and entirely up to you. As you can see here, no problems with the lather and man, it smells great. I'd say once I'm getting it on my face here, it's definitely a little more pronounced and the scent strength. I do like the scent a lot. It smells great to me. Could use a little more zip. If I were just looking for something to complain about, it would be I could use a little more zip in the scent strength, but I'm getting enough to where it's enjoyable. I'm not having to, you know, search for the fragrance, so to speak. But it could use a little more, in my opinion, for my preference anyway. You might think it's exactly where it should be. All right. Very nice quality, though. No question about that. Look at that. That is some nice stuff right there. 
<laughs> All right, let's set that aside, cut this back a little bit, and we'll get into it today. I hope you are all having a great day. So far, we intend to get a great shave here and set our course for a great day. Sorry, drying off my hands here, and let's get going with our Tatara Miramasa. Again, adjustable razor. And on four, there's some good blade feel to it, so I like it on four. Feels nice and smooth for me. The blade I'm using, again, is the PAA um, Platinum Strangelet, I think he calls it. You know how Douglas is with those names. It will be available at some point in the near future, folks, so stay tuned. Very, very nice, though. I really do like the way this razor shaves, primarily for me on four and five, those two settings. One and two, when I first used it, I thought it wasn't cutting at all. I thought it was useless, honestly. And then later I realized that even on one and two, it still shaved, but you couldn't really feel anything. And so for me, that wasn't enjoyable because I like to use that feedback of the blade cutting to sort of guide me in knowing when to make some additional strokes or when to move on. And on one and two with this, it just didn't feel satisfying to me. So... The sad thing about this razor for me is $400 razor practically and one and two are pretty much not settings that I would ever use. So it's kind of wasted. Now that said, you can go to the opposite act, uh, you can go to the opposite end, easy for you to say, <laughs> of the spectrum and use the Rex Ambassador and it is pretty much efficient and aggressive on all settings. I think they were looking to sort of go the opposite direction with this razor, make it a little more smoother. Uh, a little more smooth, I should say, and a little more palatable to people on all settings. And certainly from, from a smooth and mildness perspective, they accomplished that. But for me, settings one and two are not settings that I would really use. Unless I were just using them to demonstrate the razor, I wouldn't use them. But three, four, and five are perfectly good. Very nice, very nice. Excellent first pass. The soap, as you would expect from three, four, five, good quality, nice and slick, no problems whatsoever. The razor nice, the blade nice, everything nice today. Uh, the brush today, by the way, I forgot to mention, is the uh, Lancaster Razor Works brush. And by the way, they had a Lancaster uh, brush drop the other day, uh, Saturday. And those, uh, some of those towels were still available on Monday. So there was plenty of time this time to grab a towel. I know in the past, um, people were angry with other people who were buying more than one. And keep in mind, there are people like me who bought many as gifts and gave them away. But anyway, at this point, they had towels all the way up into Monday. Um, so they were available for good long time. The only people, sadly, who haven't been able to really take part is international folks, um, folks in Europe, because the Lancaster doesn't ship to Europe. I hope at some point that will get resolved because I would love to see, you know, a lot of you in Europe watch and thank you for watching. I would love to see you be able to participate in that too. I'm, I'm always, I always want maximum participation to allow everybody to try. Um, and maybe uh, one of you vendors in the UK, maybe somebody like Shaving Time, should reach out to Andre and collaborate and maybe, you know, make a larger order to offset some of the problems with uh, shipping there or all the paperwork involved with it and the taxes and all that. It does get rather complicated, I guess. So hoping one of the vendors there in the UK and Europe abroad maybe will reach out and maybe work something out with Andre, so I would love to see more people over in Europe being able to use this wonderful towel as well because I love it myself. All right, very nice. Good quality stuff here. Three, four, five. This feels great. I'm digging it. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Man, I could just do this all day. <laughs> I'm not going to do it all day, but I could. <laughs> It just feels nice. There's something really satisfying about that sort of painting motion with the brush. And some people like the swirling motion too. 
for me, I'm, I'm more of a painter with the brush. I'm looking to uh, just sort of apply the lather and not irritate the face too much. Some people really like scrubbing, that's okay. Do what works best for you. And on this pass, we will move it up to uh, number five. And again, the one thing I would change about that razor, this razor is those numbers are really hard to see. Um, but otherwise, really nice razor. And on five, it really is pretty efficient, I think. You can definitely feel some blade. And of course, you know me, I like, I rather like that. It worked well for me. Definitely is a nice feeling razor. It feels substantial in your hand. It just feels uh, well built, so I like it. And there we go. It's definitely doing its work with no problem there on setting number five. I am liking that a lot. Very nice indeed. But again, this is a pricey, pricey razor. And most likely you're having to pay for that innovation and all the iterations they went through to get this production razor. I don't think very many of these razor makers get the razor right the first time out. So they're revising and revising until they get something they're really happy with. Very nice. Good residual slickness here, the 345 soap. 345 soaps, really nice. If you haven't tried it, I recommend you do. Plenty of residual slickness there. And once again, I'm tongue twisted. No, no surprise there, but really good shave today. Really nice scent, nice razor. Everything is just working the way it's supposed to. And that makes it quite enjoyable for me, again, on Shave More November. Shave More November. That's what I always call it because I'm definitely not gonna grow a, a patchy full beard because it would probably look like a total mess if I grew a full beard. I've never really grown a full beard. Um, the most I've ever gone without shaving in my life is probably a week. Maybe a week and a half on a vacation or something. But as a shaving hobbyist, you know, I like to shave, and so I like to, the only reason I don't shave this is because it just, I look like this, the thumb. And <laughs> you need that to sort of break up the face a little bit for me. I'm not saying you look like a thumb if you are completely bald and, and shave all areas of your face, but I like to shave as much as possible. So I got the dome, got the full face, you know, you can shave other areas as well as you please. So for me, I get up a notch more even in November. Shave more. But I got to tell you, today, I could definitely shave more because this is fun. <laughs> good equipment. Good company, you guys. Thank you for joining me again. I really appreciate you. I try to say that as much as possible. And that is not uh, lip service. I look forward to hearing, to hearing from all of you, or at least the ones who comment. And I know there are other people who watch who don't comment. So this is your day. Comment below and let me know you're watching. Um, sound off, as we like to say. Let me know you're there. Let me know you watch. Ask a question, make a comment, whatever you please. Oh man, very nice shave today. Nothing to complain about today. Folks. All right, let me uh, rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. And then we applied our Razor Rock alum. There was no stinging there, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. And of course, that's the way we like to do it all the time. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse. And then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. I had an excellent shave today with 345 Soap Company Yacht Club. Very, very nice soap, great price, great scent, great quality. I enjoyed it, thumbs up for me on that. The Tatara Miramasa razor, very expensive razor, but I do enjoy using it on settings three, four, and five. It's very good for me, I enjoyed using it a lot. Well built, it is a keeper for me. I like the razor a lot. We used our hc and C bowl. We used our Lancaster Razor Works brush and our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we shall finish it off today with 
Sterling Mountain Man, which is the next one that I'm targeting to use up. It'll take me a while with this one because I still have a fair amount left. And I want to thank you all for watching and remind you, if you've never commented before, today is your day. Please comment below. If you're new, please comment below. And just comment below generally. Let me know you're here. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.